Hey everyone, welcome back to another Marshall Reacts. It is Sunday and it is time again. Today we have a fight sent to us by a YouTube user. His name is UFC Simmon. I hope I said that name correctly. And he has sent us a fight between Cody Garbrandt and Dominic the Dominator Cruz. I don't know who he is using, which I am very happy about. Like I always say in my videos, do not tell me who you're using so that I can... Uh, record this reaction in a very non-partial way so we're gonna watch the fight we're gonna see who wins the fight and i i actually i actually picked this specific fight out of every other fight that was sent to me because of the title he he says it's a very technical fight that's the way he titled it very technical fight um when i see the word technical my ears perk up i get excited so uh let's let's watch the fight and uh and and see how technical this fight actually is so Let's jump right into it and go. So we've got Cody Garbrandt versus Dominic Cruz. This is a fight that has been kind of brewing. Uh, Cody Garbrandt has been talking mad crap to Dominic Cruz. As always, Dominic Cruz has been talking mad crap back to Cody. Cody thinks he can go in there and destroy Dominic Cruz. I don't think so, but let's let's watch this. So. Cruz is moving. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Dominic Cruz. He is really, really moving well. Sidestepping. Oh, that is a nice combination, bro. He moves, he moves to the right, leads with a jab, follows with a straight. And he's leading also with the body kick, with the rear body kick. I like that. Nice. Look at that. He's, oh my goodness. He's evading these shots. I don't even think Cody has been able to hit him one time. Beautiful. Moving like Dominic Cruz. Gets him in a clinch. Lands a hook. Try to go for the Muay Thai plum. Alright, got him in the plum. Lands a knee. Uh-oh. Lands a knee one more time. And he's out. He faked the single collar and got out. Nice! I love the way he is evading these shots. Boom! Get out the way! Get out the way! Keep moving. Just keep moving just like that. That's a very interesting combination. I might try that combination out. Beautiful! Oh, he lands a right hand. Le body kick is coming. He goes jab. Hook to the body, rear body kick. I like that. Now, the way Dominic is moving right now, it's pretty good, but it's it's really doing a number on his stamina, as you can see right there. Now, I like to move when I'm using Dominic Cruz, but I don't move that much. It's I kind of move when I have to move. Like, if, if my opponent is not in front of me, I don't really move. I kind of just stand around and conserve my stamina. But... Nice, dude, man. That combination. I am gonna try that combination out. That's a nasty combo. Let me see if he does it again. Let me see if he does that combo again. And I can almost, like, I'm sure of it. I'm about 100% sure that UFC Simmons is Dominic Cruz. He's fighting just like Dominic Cruz will fight. Takes down Cody. You know, Dominic has said he's going to make Cody look lost in there. And, I mean, I really believe it. I mean, you're not going to be able to hit him. You're just not going to be able to hit him. Nice. That same combination. Yeah. It, it, our guy is Dominic Cruz. Absolutely. Goes for the head kick. That nice switch jab right there. I love that jab. Catches him. Beautiful. Takes him down. End of the round. Beautiful. Beautiful performance so far. I am really loving this fight. Look at nasty. That's a very nice combination. So he steps to the right. He leads with a jab. He comes with the. With, I think it's a lead. It's a. It's a lead hook to the body. Lead uppercut to the body. Goes for the rear body kick. Good combination. Try that out yourself, guys. Pretty good combo right there. It works. Especially when someone's coming at you. They touch gloves. 
I'm not liking where his stamina is at though. I don't like that. The movement is good, but I think he might be overdoing it a little bit. Dominic Cruz has perhaps the most creative footwork we've ever seen inside the octagon. He has tremendous cardio. Got Joe Rogan's like Dominic Cruz might have the most creative footwork we've ever seen in the octagon. It's not might. He has the most creative footwork we've ever seen in the octagon. Who who else has footwork like Dominic Cruz? There's Leota Machida. There's Stephen Thompson as he gets dropped right there. There's Leota. There's Stephen Thompson. You've got Demetrius Johnson. You've got TJ Dillashaw. But still, none of these guys move like Dominic. Okay. Cruz is slowing down a little bit now. Watch the stamina, buddy. You gotta watch that stamina. Oh, he drops him with a flying knee. That's a damaging hammer fist. He postures up. No. Tries to reverse him. That does not work. Gets him in the crucifix. Side saddle. Gets the gets the backside. Does he flatten him out? No, he's back in half guard. He was able to defend against that. Gets back to side control. Let's see what he can do with that. He gets to mount. Cody Garbrandt is getting dominated here. Yeah, it, 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 that's one more thing too. I mean, <laughs> Dominic Cruz is the best wrestler in the bantamweight division. He really is. I mean, the man has out wrestled everyone he has ever faced, including Demetrius Johnson, including Uriah Faber, including T.J. Dillashaw, who who does not get taken down until he fights uh, Dominic Cruz. So the man is the best wrestler in that division. If he goes in there and, and faces Cody Garbrandt, I think he takes him down. He takes him down at will. Don't even get me started on the movement. Don't even get me started on the technical kickboxing that he's going to put on this guy. Body kick. Leg kick. Uh, stamina, though. He's not really watching his stamina as as well as I would have loved him to. But, to be honest with you, that is a problem with the game. That's an issue with the game because uh, uh, Dominic Cruz should not be losing stamina this much for moving like he is moving right here. It's not realistic. Dominic Cruz at this point in round number two will not be losing stamina like this. Absolutely not. The man goes five rounds and does not slow down even a little bit. So it, it just, it's an issue with the game. So round number two is over. Dropped him right there with the flying knee. This fight is going very realistically. That's kind of what you would, you would have expect if these two guys were to lock horns in the cage. And here we see if... All right, let's wait for the third round. Here we go. I wonder if I wonder if someone gets finished here. Third and final round. They touch it up. Head kick. Nicely done. I like that takedown fake right there. He's fainting now. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the body. What great he was gonna go for the this. takedown. Good connection with the straight. Head kick. Nice, nice combination. Body kick. He, he went for the body kick, but body kick. He goes for it again. I'm definitely stealing your combination, bro. Body kick. Beautiful. Total strikes landed. We've got Dominic Cruz at 95. Takes him down. Single leg. Bam. Ends up in half guard. Nope, he, was, he saw that one coming from a mile away. He gets him in sight control. He was going to north-south. I wonder why. He stands back up. Probably to get back to the... Oh, I think he wanted to get to the red corner. That might be what he was doing. Gets him with the body kick right there. Head kick, he drops him. Oh, boy. Is it this fight? This fight is close to being done, dude. This dude has no stamina left. 
North South is going to get the side control and stand back up. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to get to the red corner. That's just like me. Just like me. Oh my god, it drops him again. Dude. Get to side control and finish this dude. He blocked that. That is impressive, dude. Fight is over. This is done. It's over. I cannot. There's no way he survives this. He goes for an armbar. He's in full mount here and he's looking for the armbar. What he wants to do is first thing he wants to do is Bro, why did you go for an on bar? Posture's up here. Uh oh. Straight. Fuck. I'm rooting so hard for Dominic Cruz right now because I know it's over. Yeah, th this is what happens when I know who you are. And no, he did not tell me. I just know. I just, I know because of the style that I'm watching. I, I'm just, I'm sure, I'm sure of it. Our guy is Dominic Cruz, and now I'm really rooting for him to win. Plus, I like Dominic Cruz way more than I like Cody Garbrandt. But watch that stamina, though. Jesus Christ. That is dangerous, man. Throwing all the combinations you're throwing right now with very little stamina, you could get rocked. He rocks him again. Dude. No stamina fight is over okay Dominic Cruz definitely won that fight look at that oh he's actually going for the straight not the jab no wonder that was working so he's he's he's, he's he lunges to the right he goes for a straight the lead uppercut and comes with the rear body kick that's a very nice combination drops him right there Judges All right, let's see who won. Decision. Bruce Buffer has it. Who was our victor? Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored the contest 30 26. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Dominic the Dominator. Dude, this is the first time, the first time I have ever seen. A 30-26 in this game. I've I've never seen a, a 20 a 30-26. And and trust me, I've I've dominated some guys and I've been dominated by some very good players. And I've seen people dominate other people and I have never seen a 30-26. I mean a 30-26? Holy shit. I think it's because of all those knockdowns, but th that is just impressive, dude. That is impressive. I really wish he would have shown the fight stats so I can see the strikes that he landed. But, dude, 30-26. Good shit, dude. Very good. I really, really enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for sending that. I love fights like that. If you guys ever have fights like that where you're extremely technical and your striking was just on point and you just you did everything you wanted to do on the feet you ran through your opponent or you mesmerized him you frustrated him or anything like that absolutely send it in and title it in a way that i not telling me who you're using but in a way that i kind of know what's going on in the fight you know what i mean now i saw the videos you guys sent me those of you that sent me your your fights where you were using no HUD. I did see those videos. Do not worry. I am going to be making more of these fight, uh, these Marshall React videos. I'm actually thinking of doing it uh, maybe twice a week as opposed to just once a week because there are a lot of videos that you guys are sending me, and I really want to try to get to as much as this as much as I possibly can. So. I might end up doing this more than once a week and do it maybe, probably, I don't know, maybe on a Wednesday and a Sunday. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that and uh, we'll go from there. As always, thank you so much for watching. Keep sending me your fights. Do not worry. I'm going to get to all these fights and uh, I will see you guys in the next Marshall Reacts. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot and a big, big, big thank you from the bottom of my heart to this YouTuber that you see right there. His name on the, on the screen right there. Massive thank you to him 
for the shout out that he gave me on his channel that really really boosted me a little bit it means a lot to me go subscribe he puts out some epic content some really amazing ufc ufc 2 content and if you're a fan of basketball too and you love the 2k basketball games he makes videos on that as well so go check him out so thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next martial reacts be safe have a wonderful day